So if you keep Trevor Story at second, then he has an AAV, an annual average value, as high as Jose Altuve. Trevor Story's Jose Altuve? Making him the third highest paid second baseman at no. And look, don't be, I, I never bought the Carlos Correa bit. He gam- To me, he gambled and he whiffed. I would not touch him out on the free agent market because he scored more runs last year in Minnesota than he did. He, he scored more runs more last year in Minnesota than he did in his last year in Houston, but he had 10 less doubles, four less homers, 28 fewer RBIs, 14 less walks, five more Ks, slugging percentage down 2%, and the geek's favorite, watch it, his war was down two games. So Correa is not going to be the one who really sets the market. Correa is just going to be looking for his deal. Xander offers a lot more intangibles. You just heard Buster only say. How would the Red Sox fan base and probably the Red Sox organization feel like, hey, wow, Xander just pretty much took all that clubhouse magic pixel dust to our hated rival in the Bronx, and now suddenly their solidified dugout clubhouse at the player level. Yeah. I mentioned that Xander had a better war than Correa. 5.8 to 5.5. So when you think that it's a joke to pay Xander $25 million, I don't think you understand how the market works. Let, let, let's taste the, let, look, look at the price of milk, right? Like when I was a little kid, milk was like a dollar. And the American population was like $225 million, Well, there. now, well, just a year, a couple ago, right before the pandemic, milk was $3.30. And the U.S. population was like $330 million. A cost increase of milk of 322% and a population increase of 68%. Sander Bogarts is the milk, folks. And as long as a shortstop is key and does the clubhouse body good, you're going to pay more. 